Hey guys, so as you can see from the title, I am going to be jet black rinsing my hair. All you need to do is get yourself some hot water. Don't let the water boil, just let it get hot. And once you see a little bit of bubbles, then you shall pour it out. Pour it into an empty container if you have one. If not, try to use your pot. Today I'm going in with this Kiss Colors. This is a semi-dye rinse. It's not permanent. Um, I like this rinse because this is my first time using it and it came out so phenomenal like it took the entire wig and look how quick it's evaporating into the hot water and normally I have done the jet black before with cold water and it didn't come out like this it took some time I had to mix the color into the water this time I poured it and it evaporated right away instead of stirring the water and the um, rinse together, I just put my wig right in because the way the color evaporated, it made sense to just put the wig right in. Now, I'm just dipping it in and out and I'm just trying to get it in there, but like, be careful guys, I'm not wearing any gloves or any protective garment and you should wear a protective garment doing this, like gloves or anything that won't burn your fingers, but I did not burn my fingers because I was very careful. Now with the rest of the rinse that was in the bottle, I just poured it onto the frontal area of the wig and I kid you not, all I needed was like a little comb and just brush it into the hairs and it came out so good guys, I can't wait till you see the finishing product please stay tuned now just press down and get the juices of the um, semi dye all in there and make sure that it takes it properly guys let that sit for about I would say 15 minutes and come back and comb out your hair you'll need a brush like this one this is a small weave brush I didn't use a big one because I thought the big one might <laughs> make it more difficult, but this small one worked perfectly. The semi dye, the Kiss Product semi dye, really made this hair very soft. It made it manageable to comb through while it was wet. I didn't use any conditioner yet, and I know you see the shimmer lights back there, but trust me, I didn't touch that. That was for my other wig. Um, yeah, so just take your time and comb out the wig. Make sure all of the product of the black dye is in there, and trust me, it will be worth it. Take your time, this only took me about 20 minutes. So right here, I'm just checking out the wig, making sure that it's, all the juices is in there, and I'm going to squeeze the extra water and product out of it. Now this is a water with just a little bit of shampoo, and you can use any shampoo of your kind. I put my wig in there and now I'm just rinsing out the color, making sure all the jet black product is out of there and just really taking my time, I'm adding more shampoo. Once again, you can use any shampoo of your kind. I believe I was using the VO5 shampoo. Just need to get all of that jet black out of there because you don't want the black color staining your clothes. So it is a must to get that out of there. So just take your time and wash your hair out. Use the shampoo as much times as you, as you like to and just go over it plenty of times. Squeeze out the water, rinse it over your sink if you have to, and then you're going to condition your hair. So now I'm using my silicone mix. I love, love, love silicone mix. I use it on all of my wigs. It makes the hair so softened and so easy to work with. It smells so good and it just detangles your hair. Like this wig was entangled because of the rinse, but it made the hair so soft. And once you're done with that conditioning part, guys, you are all done. You're just going to grab a plastic bag and throw that wig in there. The wig is still steaming hot, so the plastic bag would allow all the juices to be secured with the steam. Now leave it in there for about 20 minutes and then rinse it out. So you guys, this is the wig that I washed. And all I did so far without showing you was that I blow dried it while it was wet. And now I'm going to put it on. I already applied some got to be glue here that is now becoming tacky. Just going to apply a little bit more got to be glue around my edges because that first layer is now becoming tacky. I don't like to put too much glue. Just clip. 
and I like to show a little bit of forehead, you know? Sometimes I hide on my foreheads, but most times I am trying to show a little bit of forehead. I wanna apply a little bit more got to be glue because I like when it's snatching my face a little bit, if you know what I mean. I like it when it's snatching, pulling my eyes to give me that cat look. Like wigs really be taking up all your face, guys. Like this video if you agree with me. If you're a girl that wear wigs, the wig be taking up your whole entire face, right? See, right now it's pulling my eyebrows up and I'm feeling, I don't know, but <laughs> I love it. I'm just applying a little bit, guys, not too much. As you can see, my lace did turn dark because of the, um, the jet black rinse i'm so happy i rinsed this hair because i love me black hair like you guys don't even understand black hair is the best hair to go you just feel like a boss a bad bitch and nobody can't tell you nothing period okay <laughs> i'm just kidding but it does make you look more mature it does make you have that look before i do anything let's do some baby hairs going to do the baby hairs now and i just need me some concealer before i do so or if you have like powder brown powder i would suggest to apply it to the hairline after you rinse your hair because you don't want to um bleach the knots again just apply some makeup you'll be okay i have this kiko milano here it's a concealer i believe yeah this is a full coverage concealer and i'm just gonna try to apply that around the lace front with a makeup brush take one of these little brushes for the baby hairs and just do a little cute little something nothing extra something real cute and simple so i'm using the eco style and gel this is what i use on my natural hair so i'm not gonna go overboard i'm just gonna use a little bit just to style the baby hairs as you should know pull out your baby hairs i do have some cut baby hairs in here already and wet the baby hairs with the um gel and then style isn't gonna be showing I don't really need to put out baby hairs on this side just make sure that it's a little secure for if the wind were to blow your hair you know yeah just a little bit of gel just to secure it and lay down the flying baby hairs but this is the side that's gonna be showing so back a little bit more <laughs> okay so now I'm done with the baby hairs and I concealed around the areas I needed to um, make pop like this part here I'm gonna just take my hot comb and just comb down the areas I need to lay down flat. Oh, this thing is hot. need to invest 
Dustin one of those gloves that you can use when you're putting um when you want curling your hair or using a flat iron because or a hot comb because I tend to always touch it and burn myself so now I finish with this side I'm just gonna apply a little tiny bit of gel just to hold it down and apply a little bit of grease Ooh, this is a lot of it just to hold it down some and I'm gonna take this again now the grease is just to give it a shine and the gel is to hold Gonna do this side now. So now this hair is from AliExpress. I did do a review on this hair. And if you want the honest review, this hair is so beautiful. I will leave the link in the description box below from when I first opened it out of the box. Trust me, you'll like it. So go visit that video. Um, so now I'm just going to be hot combing this and I will flat iron it and style it to my pleasing, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. The hair came out jet black, as you can see. I love it so much it just looks so fabulous all I did was the water method blow dried it hot combed it a little bit and now I'm going to flat iron it just the ends you know because it looked like it's, it's been blow dried but I like this um this look it came out really 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 jet black this method this water method is worth it guys i hope you enjoyed my video and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and welcome if you're new comment down below how you color your hair and what you would like to see for my channel thank you i'll see you in my next one